Hello and welcome to your 39th SQL Server tutorial. I believe it's 39, 39 or 40. Pretty sure it's 39. And today we're going to be, I'm going to be talking to you about deleting data from tables using the delete statement and using the truncate statement. And so before we go on and discuss this, if you'll recall from my last tutorial on the update statement, I said it was pretty imperative that you consider using a WHERE clause, otherwise you might update all of the rows and all, or all the information in the table, which could get you fired. And this is even more so when using the delete statement. If you do not include WHERE as part of the delete statement, all the data will be removed after the query is executed. SQL Server does not explicitly have an undo button. There are, however, ways to incorporate a mechanism that will offer an undo operation, but you should always, always, always practice including a WHERE clause. Okay? And so there's two primary methods for removing data from SQL Server. There's the delete statement, which I have an example of right here, and the truncate statement. Both remove data with the main difference being that you can limit the number of rows deleted when using the delete statement right here. But with truncate, you cannot. It just empties out the whole table. So as you can see right here, we're using AdventureWorks 2012 right, right here. We're deleting from human resources dot department. Okay, there's this table right here and where department ID equals 22. So, all right. See what happened. Oops. All right, so we're good to go. Okay, now you might be wondering, okay, why does it say zero rows affected? And the reason why it says zero rows affected is because there is no department 22. This was just an example. I can show you, see if we go get rid of this. I go up. I grab this block of code here. Control V, execute. See, we only go to department 19. So, okay, just to clarify that. Okay, now let's see an example of how to delete rows while referencing multiple tables. So let's grab this block of code, this example down here oh that's updating nope I want deleting okay here we go paste this guy in so in this query right here the human resources dot employee department history table is used to identify those departments in the human resources dot department table that are not associated with any rows in the reference table. Coupling that left outer join reference with the where clause ensures that only those rows are deleted. Okay? So you go ahead and copy this down. So now you have an example and you know how to delete rows while referencing multiple tables. And now I'm going to show you an example of the truncate statement, which deletes all rows. And let me go grab this guy right here. It's a real simple one. There we go. We're using AdventureWorks 2012 and we are emptying out or truncating table DDO dot department right here. I'm not going to run it because I want to keep the data that's in it for now. And remember that the truncate statement removes all rows from the reference table. Prior to executing this statement, you should ensure that this is exactly what you intend to do. Once the statement is executed, all the data is gone. So, delete and truncate, very useful, but you need to be very cautious and be 
absolutely sure of what you're doing. If you are not sure, have any doubts, figure it out. Ask somebody, research it, Google it, do whatever you have to do to make sure that you're not going to really royally screw something up. So, with that said, in my next tutorial, I'll be covering how to merge data, the merge statement. Thanks for stopping by. See you in the next tutorial.